These young men want to win. They're members of the youth squad at a second division Bundesliga team, and for them, soccer is more than just a game. They know that victory is born of fighting spirit, top conditioning and intelligence. Marcus Schrott was once a first division forward. Now he's a coach. He'd like to have his teams play under control, but... We don't have a lot of data or images that we can look at. After the game, we compare notes and ask the guys involved to describe situations. That's one way to find out more about what actually happened. But this man knows a shortcut. Bernd Radig, a professor of computer science at Munich's Technical University, has been carrying out football analyses for seven years now. Now he's come up with a way to do this without resorting to expensive extra cameras or chips implanted in the players' uniforms. All he needs is TV footage from the game. This is a segment of the footage you brought yesterday. The idea is now to take the camera images and reconstruct where the players were, as well as the location of the ball if we can. The playing field in the respective stadium is then synchronized to the image on the television. That tells the computer exactly where the camera has been placed, and the system can then determine the position of the players in real time. Marcus Schrott is impressed. But there's something missing. What about the ball? Do we know where it is? <laughs> That's a very good question. The ball is there, but tracking it automatically can be difficult because, of course, it's small. The scientists have already solved one problem involving the ball. If it isn't visible, the computer instantaneously calculates where it ought to be if it continued moving in the direction it was taking last. But all of this requires a lot of computing power. The results are only available after the game is over. Only then can the coach see in which direction any given player moved during a particular play, as well as his location throughout the game. The red areas indicate where this player spent most of his time. This profile strongly suggests that he was a midfielder. After the game is over, the tactics that were employed can also be calculated and examined in detail. At present, the scientists are still optimizing the program and producing an internet-friendly version of it. But Bernd Radig's ambitions go even further. I always try to express my vision of the future in a single sentence. I want to build an automated sports reporter. Sports reporters are still all too human. The Opta company collects soccer data that they can use, but the process is a manual one and therefore slow. Game analyses are put together by a team of three experts. The game moves so fast. We gather data on 2,000 events per game, so our analysts have to be fast too. They like throw-ins because they give you a bit of a breather. The analysts watch the game and simultaneously note which players play the ball from which position and how. That data is interesting for reporters, betting agencies, coaches and scouts. Now the new analysis program developed by the analysts in Munich could provide crucial additional information. We focus on the player with the ball, so we don't see what the others are doing at that moment. And this system can give us more comprehensive information, like how far apart the players are, how a defender is behaving who isn't directly involved with the ball, and so on. That really helps. Coach Markus Schrott also finds the new digital scans helpful. They give not only statistics on how far players have run or how many bad passes they've made, but a general overview. Coaches always want to have as much information as possible when it comes time to make or verify a decision. That's why this is such a big help. During the game, it's tough when you're sitting down there on the sidelines. You're involved, and that makes it hard to judge and observe and interpret things objectively. 
But one of the most important variables that the new analysis programs can't interpret is the passion, the magic of the beautiful game.